Hi everybody, it's Jerome and Ashley here from Atmosphere Collectibles and we have a new release video, also some restock sprinkled in. Um, we will, we, there, now we are waiting on a shipment. Hopefully we'll have that by the end of the day. I, I do have like special orders in that box. Uh, so we'll see. So you may um, want to call before you come up, make sure your order is here. It should be here today. We don't know what time. Yeah, we're so. hoping. Uh, but let's just get to showing you what we got. Yeah. Uh, so we got the Renaissance Beyonce. It's a double 180 gram record uh, with the poster, 16 page booklet, and this nice box with this uh, sassy cover. Yuck. Very nice. So. Um, so it's funny because when we re uh, before we had reopened as another brick and mortar, uh, we were discussing well, we did this uh, documentary our friend made called Between the Grooves, and in that uh, we were discussing on whether reopening another brick and mortar, uh, and uh, Jerome had said we will, uh, will mostly be used. We might carry some new. We might not like. We're probably not going to carry like the new Beyonce or anything like that. Nothing against Beyonce, just meaning like just the mainstream titles. And uh, look at us now, all these years, like five years later, or, uh, and we got the new Beyonce. So uh, if you're ever bored and you want to check out a documentary our friend Matthew Davis made uh, about vinyl collecting, it's called Between the Grooves. And that was in between our first store and our current store. Uh, and we did We're like the flea markets flea market. and stuff. Uh, yeah. That time. So anyway, that was just a little, every time I, I get a kick out of that. So anyway, we've got the new release of Bobby Weir and the Wolf Brothers. Uh, this is the second 2LP live collection from their Epic Red Rocks concert. We do have a limited edition color vinyl version. And we have slick quantity, or uh, we do have a small quantity of free canvas tote bags to give away with purchase so yeah, the first, in order while quantities to, last yeah <laughs> that's what i exactly. mean to say <laughs> so and high roller has reissued slaughter strapedo which is it's not the slot and now if it's a slaughter drone says it's the real slaughter uh yes. but it's the not slaughter the, from canada there we um, go <laughs> but it's a great record uh if you've never heard it youtube it check it out it's uh, one that was really extreme when I was a kid. Is it thrash or is it? Yeah, it's thrash. Uh, kind of the start of uh, maybe getting a death metal starting. Oh, okay. Uh, I forgot last week to show we got the Slipknot, the Infernal, the newest Slipknot album. We do have a cassette. And then I also have a restock cassette of the White Stripes, White Blood Cells. So, yeah, we... We have a small section of new cassettes. So we've got a couple of Kinks reissues. We have Face to Face and the Kinks uh, Controversy. Mm. Two classic records. Now, they did, there was like three, two or three other Kinks reissues all that came out technically today, but I pared it down. That was just like, um, I guess our bias was shows like the ones that I like, like the most but uh anyway so if you do but we can get those in if if you want the other kinks then um let, let us know. know uh okay so uh this is a super confusing cover because we got an upside down hype sticker this is the spine uh either way this is action bronson and it's uh crocodile or hmm, croc crocodilo drillo turbo and it's a ultra clear, limited to 3,000 copies. Uh, I believe this, I'm thinking this is a reissue. I don't know his catalog so super well, but um, I could be wrong. But either way, it's new to us and it's limited to 3,000. Pink Floyd, the 2018 remix. Uh, this is the LP, CD, Blu ray, DVD, plus 32 page booklet, all in this nice little book package. I tell you what, we have had so many people talk about how much they love the remix, this uh, 2018 remix. Uh, they picked up like the vinyl, the normal 2LP vinyl. Uh, and, you know. A lot of people are really saying. Yeah. Like, it's the right we might just have to get it, open up a copy and put it out in the store or play it in the store. Uh, okay, so we've got now 
This isn't the first time I think this has been available on 180 gram. It just was out of stock for a really long time. But we do have a 180 gram reissue of Joni Mitchell Blue. This is newly remastered by Bernie Grunman under the supervision of Joni Mitchell herself. Uh, but yeah, this Probably is just a classic for that, album. Like all once a week. So yeah. we've got it in. Uh, Daniel Johns, uh, Future Never. So he was the singer of Silver Chair. Um, and this is a limited hot pink. And I'll have to say that that does not sound anything like Super uh, Silver Chair. I mean, it's 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 pretty cool. Just check it out. It's but that's who he is. Is the he was the singer of Silver Chair. Um, okay, so we've got starting off with these are the first uh, Rocktober releases uh, so far. We've got the the Cars Candy O on limited edition clear vinyl. Southside Johnny and Ashbury Jukes. That's uh, live Southside Johnny. Uh, so we also have uh, the second of the Rocktober titles is Panorama. This is on limited edition blue vinyl. And then real quick, I just want to show the last uh, that we have so far. These are the, not the last, the last of the first round of Rocktober titles. We got the Talking Heads, Remain in Light on white vinyl. Um, produced. This is the one produced by Dave, uh, Brian Eno. All right, I got some reissues or restocks. I got uh, Weezer, uh, back in stock. Uh, typo Negative, October Rust, back in stock. Kanye West, late registration, back in stock. Tupac, All Eyes on Me, back in stock. I got another copy of the Mac Miller Blue Slide Park. Back in stock, and then I want to use that to segue into this reissue of Mac Miller Macadelic. It's the 10th anniversary edition of the landmark 2012 mixtape, um, featuring loud clarity and thoughts from a balcony. Queens of the Stone Age, uh, era of Ogaris, and this is in like the 78 packaging. It's a three really cool. 10 inch set. So. And they are getting ready to reissue the um, Queens of the Stone Age on special color vinyl. Uh, okay, so we've got a Blue Note Tone Poet series, uh, Grant Green, Fill in the Spirit. I guess that's, yeah, I guess it just has one. So we have uh, Christian Death, The Path of Sorrows. This is on uh, Blue Haze Vinyl. And this is uh, after the uh, lawsuit with Roz and Valor when Roz got the name, or before Roz actually got the name back, he put out a couple albums in a Christian death after Shadow Project. This was the first one, Path of Sorrows. It's uh, to do a cover of the Velvet Underground's Venus and Furs. It's a great record if you like Christian death. It's true. Yeah, there we go. So. And it's on like a blue and... Yeah, blue, blue, blue haze, haze vinyl. vinyl. So, I don't know if you guys can see the picture or the mock-up. Probably yeah. not. Yeah. We'll try to, like... Uh, okay, so we got the uh, the other tone poet, the uh, Blue Note tone poet that we got in. This is uh, Kenny Burrell, and it is just called Kenny Burrell, I believe. Um, yeah. Kenny Burrell. So, let's start to say... Uh, Gorgoth, Gorgoroth, Antichrist, um, I started to say these were on black, but they're not on black, they are on gray marble, it looks like. Uh, Gorgoroth is a band that Jerome likes, correct? Yeah, yeah. Like death metal or something? That's uh, black metal. Oh, okay, there's a difference. <laughs> there All is right. a difference. So, I real quick, I've got, uh... Christmas records are starting to come in. So if you are, you know, usually you better get your Christmas records, like, I'm not saying now because I know it's not even Halloween, but otherwise, like, closer to till, they're always out of stock, it feels like. So first off, we've got Christmas with Frank Sinatra, the voice of the holidays. He's singing 10 timeless classics, and it's on limited edition white vinyl. <coughs> Um, then we've got Dolly Parton, Home, Home for Christmas. Christmas. Uh, it's Dolly's take on classic, uh, Christmas classics. Um, love Dolly. 
And then we've also got two more. Uh, we've got the 25th day of September with Bobby Darren. Uh, this is a Friday music reissue. Um, so that's pretty we cool. We also have Johnny Cash and Family, just titled Christmas. And this point. is a HQ 180 RTI pressing, premium vinyl pressing. Also Friday music. So we have Queensryche Digital Noise Alliance. This is a gatefold lilac 2LP 180 gram limited uh, 2,000 copies. Brand new Queensryche. So. so this is a Toby Mac Life After Death. Uh, it is a 2LP. I wasn't, you know, nobody had specifically asked me for the Toby Mac, but I know he's like hugely popular so you know if let me know if you'd like me to get you one or reserve a copy lamb of god omens i don't does not say if this is colored or not but uh yeah i'll have to double check my it order is the new uh lamb of god uh okay so we've got a reissue of the cottonmouth kings the green album this is the first time on vinyl it's a 2lp set it's got tech nine uh, Dirtball and Brother J on limited translucent green vinyl. And if you're a fan of the Cottonmouth Kings, we also have a different album out there, a uh, different album from Cottonmouth Kings in the bins. So we have, uh, this is limited edition 40th anniversary silver and black splatter vinyl, uh, the second Venom, black metal. I believe this is a record store day exclusive, isn't it? It doesn't say it. No, it's oh, not. It's not. I was not. thinking that because uh, they did a different Venom, right? No, they did possess oh, seven possessed. churches. Okay. Which I thought was well, really I was cool. thinking it was going to be a record store day indie exclusive, but I was just wrong on that. So. But this is still uh, still something you want to pick up. Um, got some more hip hop here. We've got Push a T. It's almost dry. So that's hip hop. He's been around for a really long time. He's got like a huge number of listens on monthly listens on Spotify. And then I've also got, this is modern hip hop. It is, oh shoot, it's called Yeet, Yeet, uh, Y-E-A-T, uh, -E and it's called, um, I'm not sure, uh, oh, Too Alive, Geek Pop or something. I hear that he got famous on TikTok. I'm not 100% sure or familiar with it, but uh, I know he's probably wildly popular <laughs> so this is a independent record store edition of john prine um featuring right. classic john prine covers by sturgill simpson brandy carlisle tyler childers and more it's and called songs of john prine volume two it's called broken hearts and dirty windows volume two and this one has been delayed so many times it's finally here uh we do have a exclusive blue vinyl um indie record store i know if john prine always so, pushes like buy from your local independent record store uh but i know this has been a title that's been Margo delayed Price and delayed. does uh sweet revenge uh jason isabel does souvenirs uh, brandy carlisle does i remember everything It'd be a cool <laughs> album to check out uh okay so this is the music on vinyl uh it's the group is called delane and its album's called Lucidity. Uh, this is a limited edition of 2,000 individually numbered copies on yellow and transparent green marbled vinyl. It's a 2LP set. Um, I believe Delane is sort of like, um, kind of like female vocals, sound of symphony kind of rock. It's uh, worth checking out. So sure. this is a 10th anniversary RSD Essential limited edition, Death Grips. Uh, no love deep. Web. Coke bottle clear. Also, it's got the alternate cover, of course. Uh, uh, we've got we had a special order for uh, the Les Claypool Delirium uh, Monolithophobia Phobos reissue. This is uh, Phobos and Diamos gray colored vinyl. <laughs> Um, I can get both uh, Claypool Delirium uh, records in stock because they just recently reissued those. Uh, Charlie Puth, uh, Nine Track Mind. Fuse, I think. Fuse. Looks like he's going for the that, cover. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I think he's like 
famous on TikTok too, or his songs are famous on TikTok. I don't know. Uh, so I also had a special order for uh, Wolf Wolfgang Van Halen, the Mammoth WVH um, record that he put out like about a year ago. Super great response from that album. Just hadn't had it back in stock for a while. Taking back Sunday, happiness is. Uh, we've got Charlie Puckett, the man from Waco. This is um, his most recent album. Um, it came out a few weeks ago. I just uh, ran out. <laughs> yeah, and this has been out for a while. but It's the Demi Lovato. Um, holy album. I had a special order for that variant, so that's why. Uh, I, I do have one out in the bins as well. Uh, we've got Tony Hawk and Punk Rock Karaoke. Seven inch. Oh, this is the yeah, blue he sings on that one. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. It's called In the City, but it's That's got all cool. kinds of uh, other punk punksters uh, participate on that. I did that one. Um, oh, uh, so now we've got our third man stuff that I was just gonna go through. We've got a brand new seven inch from uh, called Tropical Goth Club, and um, it's got. Um, um. I can't remember what his name is. Uh, I should have looked, but uh, I think it's uh, one of the artists from the Eagles of Death Metal. Like he's been in the rock scene yeah, for a long rock, time, yeah. but I haven't checked that out yet. So, all right, Merry Christmas from the White Stripes. Uh, now this one had been out of stock for a really long time, but I've got Trout Mask Replica from uh, Captain Beefheart and his Magic Band reissue. Uh, I had. I have a copy out on the floor, although it's a pricier pricing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is uh, really cool to see that one back in. So we have uh, all three of the rockin' tours, or rockin' tours, or rockin' tours, however you say their name. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, Broken Boy Soldier, Consolers of the Lonely, and what is the third one? Uh, us, help us stranger. Yeah, help us stranger, and that is also the band he was in, wasn't he? In the Rock Encounter, huh? this guy he had the seven inch Oh yeah, I think so. I think he played or played something with it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got uh, Jack White restocks of Lazarado and acoustic recordings of Jack White. Um, those have been. I, I don't know. I had those in. And then we've got some uh, White Stripes restocks. We've got Get Behind Me, Satan, um, Consolers of the Lonely, or no, Icky Thump. <laughs> the cover's a little similar, so that's what I was thinking. Oh, and okay. and uh, White Blood Cells. And then the last thing is a restock of The Dead Weather, Dodge and Burn. Um, so, yeah, I think so, that's everything. That is everything. Until we also have a, well, we have another order that should be here today. And we have Fall Festival Week. So we've bought more records than we've ever bought. I have, I think, some of the best used collections we've ever bought have came in this week. Yeah, we have a lot of really great stuff. And, uh, and we've got some priced, so. Yeah, they'll be going out all weekend long. So we'll probably if do you're another local, video. you definitely want to. Uh, try to get in. Don't wait on the video because it's some really good stuff. Uh, also, yeah, the um, this week uh, we got to go see the Obsessed up, uh, here at a bar here called Boca Lounge, and uh, so Jerome got all of his records signed by Wino. It was pretty awesome. And then this coming Wednesday, we're gonna close uh, because my. Uh, favorite artist John Spencer and the Hitmakers are going to be playing at Third Man in Nashville in the Blue Room. So that's where we'll, we're going to go. We'll just be closed for the day. We'll go down there and come right back up. So anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll have a video up soon. Okay, have a good weekend.